Can you guess why this teacher's frowning? He's a little upset due to the fact that he's not having daily conversations with his wonderful students. Then this teacher began to wonder. He wondered about what phrases or conversations his current class of students might be missing. What are they missing as they are at home during this school closure? What things are they wishing they could hear him say again? Third graders, allow me to present a greatest hits list. The greatest hits of Mr. Johnson's classroom phrases. Third graders, if there's one thing you know about me in math, you know that I'm picky when it comes to math, when it comes to math, when it comes to math, I'm picky. Aren't teachers supposed to be? I said, I'm picky when it comes to math, when it comes to math, when it comes to math, I'm picky. When you go to write your explanation, you have to pretend that I am, wait for it, dumb. Uh, how does that show that he's kind? I don't understand how that shows that he's kind. Uh, how's that his character trait? Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No talking. Mmm, coffee, good. Let me read our math learning target. Today, we are going to use arrays to represent, represent, represent is my favorite word in the English language. Every time I see the word represent, you know I say represent, represent. Roll with Mr. J. Everybody sing now. Hola, hola, eh, hola, hola, eh. Time to listen to Mr. J now. Time to listen to Mr. J now. Come on, writers. Writers, pick your pens up. Don't stop till you write enough. Writers, pick your pens up. Don't stop till you fill the page up. Third graders, the bottom number in a fraction is called the denominator. The denominator is so powerful, it holds up the puny little numerator over top of it. That is why the denominator goes on the bottom. It is so powerful.